I played a demon running the spread playbook in a thousand dollar tournament. Watch till the end to see what happens. What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another gameplay Madden 24 Ultimate Team thousand dollar tournament. In this video, we're going to be playing a spread demon. He runs a spread playbook efficiently. If you play PS5, play PS4 past few years, you know who this guy is. Isaiah W 2016. He's one of the very few people in the community that runs spread. Um, there used to be some more people, but you know, the thing is, they got out of it like David T comes to mind when uh, talking about spread doubles st stuff like that he uh, you know runs uh, I believe bears now so shout out to Isaiah W for still running what he runs it's been like four to five Maddens now he's right here we're already down in the red zone one thing about Isaiah W every time I play him I feel like it's a shootout I don't have defense for you know spread because I mean I don't play it ever and then obviously I feel like he's not the best defensive player in the world but you know his offense carries him and he's able to eventually get a stop for some of the elite players. This gameplay is a little outdated. Uh, I'm telling you, these are like the, the outdated gameplays are coming to an end. But I mean, you see right here, Will Levis, pretty crazy, honestly, to see on the screen. But here we go. If you want spread dots, if you want to run something a little unique now that the season's kind of almost over, we're transitioning into Madden 25 NCAA. Um, you know, you could try running this spread playbook and stealing some dots. It's right there. That's a dot. Not really a dot, but kind of a dot. We all know that animation where, you know, you KO them out, KO them out of bounds, but they catch it. Hopefully they fix that in an update or potentially next year. Because I know Madden Bowl is coming up and a lot of players might get cheated on that. It's right here. I think that was a three play drive. Three or four play drive as easy as it gets. I mean, man, I had no answers for that man spread in the first drive of the game. But, you know, like I said, Ben don't break. It's right here. Almost throw a pick. Should have been a pick. Uh, I think his guy was manned up to the running back, and he kind of just ran and bumped my route. Um, uh, I see right here a little bunch dot out of the bunch nasty. I'm obviously in Eagles playbook. Been running it this whole year. I'm, I mean, that's a lie. I actually ran Jets for a little bit because of how OP it was at a certain time. It's right here. Oh, my goodness. I get lucky. Julius Peppers in a third going insane on that route if you watch my gameplay by now you know how many times i've thrown that route and it's always open but julius peppers almost picks it off honestly should have been a pick got pretty lucky right there but it's all good we move on to the next play sometimes mad and give it sometimes mad to take it it's right here honestly really good defense really good user we're gonna just throw this ball away um and live for another down fourth and two i see his d-line is spread i sh maybe should run the ball right here um it's guaranteed pretty much but you know there's just no way we do that right here Great defense, honestly. Great defense. Made me hold the ball to the last second. Maybe could have got a shed, but um, ends up not working out for him. And right here, talk about a hot dot, man. You see Darren Woodson out there, honestly pretty crazy, but we split that cover two, cover three cloud type of shell, I want to say. The third came from the right side. Darren Woodson was on the left, and we make an incredible dot on that play, on that read. It's right here. Back to it. And this is an insane play. When I play Isaiah W, when I play some type of spread or something that I'm not really familiar or comfortable with, I need plays like that. I'm going to rewind that real quick for you guys. As Look at Josh Allen. This is a vert hook. I believe it was like on 5 or 10 yards or maybe even default. Man's got up there. Man's got up there, simply put. Lurk guard is one of the best abilities, if not the best ability in the game, at least on defense. Um, and yeah, that's what we needed to get the ball moving. This is, I believe, like round 4, round 5, the semis, I want to say. It's right here, Darius Hayward Bay, get your feet in bounds, please. Um, so there's some good money on the line right here. I believe this was like a $150 game at the bare minimum, maybe like a $200 game. Um, this was a Dubby Invitational. If you watch Dubby, if you know Dubby, you know he runs these Invitationals quite a bit. And right there, great defensive stand by him to get a stop right back. So, um, you know, we end up kicking three right here. Not the worst case scenario, but nonetheless, we got one stop. Now we're kind of playing with house money. That's how you got to have a look at this uh, Madden 24. You want to hold a three and then go get seven. And eventually, you know, if you do, if that's a, that's the right rhythm or that's the right kind of game plan. If you do that, you're going to win the game. It's easier said than done. You know, I feel like the, I feel like, you know, holding uh, to three, if you get them in the red zone, you could definitely hold them to three. Um, I haven't been playing as much. So it's easier, like I said, easier said than done, especially with the pre-lit running backs, the Derrick Henry's of the world and all those crazy souped up running backs is right here. Insane dot, like, uh, let's get back to the gameplay. Um, I mean, he, he's in spread, he's just cooking up, man. He's just cooking up. I'm in 6-1, someone told me the, the remedy to be Isaiah W was run 6-1 and run a little bit of Mabel. Um, 
And right here, I'm like, there's no way I could just stay in cover two Mabel all game. You know, a 30 and a five is cool with the lurk artist, but I got to send a little bit of heat. Right here, that was really good defense. I think I ran like a cover three, sent like three or four players. Right here, look at the risky adjustments, man. We're going to get risky right here, and it doesn't pay off. I had a hook, I had a purple and a cloud, and then I had a hook, and I was sending five, I believe. Um, I really just didn't want him to clock me out. And mission accomplished. Le'Veon Bell, honestly insane running back. Why is he in this game? I don't know. But yeah, mission accomplished to say the least. We're going to get the ball with a chance to milk it all the way down to the second half. He does get ball at half. Remember that, guys. Another key impo uh, component of you know Madden 24. Who gets ball at half? Who gets ball first? Play the possessions. Play the time correctly, and you will win. That's how Madden's been the past two to three years. It's really been a clock meta. It's right here. Great defense. I wanted to sneak in or sneak throw, kind of like fit that pass into the tight end, but it just wasn't there. Right here, Tony G's like, all right, I got you the next play. Juke to the right ends up getting down to the 37 yard line. And this is a perfect clock drive so far. You know, everything's looking good. We haven't been running the ball too much. We're going to run RPO here and easy peasy. That's what we love to see. Julio Jones down to the 21 yard line, 22 yard line, excuse me. Lamar looking efficient, got away with a couple bad reads, but it's all good. It's right here. Nice little pass. Almost could have been picked. That was not a pick though. I believe he ran match coverage. And yeah, he didn't. He decides to not call a timeout. Very questionable. Obviously, kind of ends up working out for him in this aspect, because um, you know now I have to get seven. But you know who we got? We got Lamar Jackson. Ends up not doing anything for us. I thought I. I actually thought I scored right there. Uh, this has been a while because you know I don't know. I had Lamar, and he actually ends up making a great tackle. But it's all good. Twenty to fourteen. This is not the worst case scenario. Um, back to it, man. He's running spread. How am I gonna get a stop, fellas? Uh, he's got all these unique setups and plays. It's right here. We're going to use our Carmichael for a play. Right there. Great defense. Our sentry is actually getting home. That's much needed when you're playing some spread out type of look. You need to run a lot of coverage, in my opinion. Uh, it's very hard to blitz spread. It's right here. Like I said, another... Like, I thought it was going to be that corner out. We're going to rewind it. He, remember how we ran that corner out at first? Look, I'm like, all right, that's a corner out, right? Nope. That's a post. Beautiful dot. And I, I mean, I don't even know what play that's called. But nonetheless... Just an easy read and a nice dot by your, your, your boy Isaiah. And here we go, man. We're making some nice adjustments. We're putting our purples out there, manning up the right guys. Great high ball. I almost thought Josh Allen was going to get crazy again. I was on him on the D-line. And, man, I thought he was going to go crazy for us. It's right here. Amazing dot high ball. I mean, who makes that read on Randy Moss? Uh, this guy does, obviously, because he's in spread. I think he calls stock verticals. So every route was going up the field. He was either going to seam streak us or he was going to high ball it to the outside if I ran cover two. And that's what he did. I did run cover two. I think I had zone drops on, but it doesn't matter. They stopped running in the red zone. And right here, like I said, he's running some type of match or weird, weird defense. Sending three a lot. Thankfully for us, I don't know if he's not blitzing his user or we're just getting a lot of time. But, you know, as I say that, we get screamed at. Uh, I, I was getting a lot of time up until that last play. Um, and that's funny how it works. Right here, all out man coverage. I want to pass this to Julio so bad. And that's what we end up doing it, doing right there, throwing the run. Julio Jones, Lamar Jackson, what a special connection. And man, if you're an Eagles fan, I'm sorry, guys. I am sorry. Uh, hey, but your brothers, the Cowboys, they got popped too. So I guess you guys can enjoy Cancun together. But nonetheless, here we go. Z spawn go. Really good play versus match type of coverage. We have this running gun ability on Lamar. He's so good. I told you guys about this running gun. I love throwing on the run. That's why I, I, I thought Lamar was better than Perry. Perry's obviously, you know, better the AP wise. But now it's going to be CJ Stroud out there. We're going to get some CJ Stroud gameplay soon. Trust me on that. That boy is dangerous in the playoffs, taking on the Ravens this week. Let me know who you got. Back to the gameplay. 27-21. We decided to not go for two. Um, I want to play my cards right. I'll, if all goes well, we get ball last. If all goes well, we don't even need a, you know, clock drive. As there goes that corner that I was telling you guys about. I want to say that was a Poco, a post corner. I don't know, though. If all goes well, we don't even need to get this, uh, get a stop. Hopefully, we could, or we don't even need to score last. Hopefully, we just get a stop one of these plays. Right here, some nice, decent adjustments. He's playing with fire, man. Throwing that, I'm telling you, watch out for that. He's going he's gonna, to he's gonna mess up on that eventually. And why did I tell you? You're playing with fire with them lurk artists. Ray Lewis gets up, gets jumpy. Takes it all the way down. Don't even mind the juke and the spin. Takes it all the way down to like the 25. But look at this. I told you guys to play before. 
he, he was playing with fire with that little wheel route. Honestly, thankfully for us, he dropped it. Right here, he goes out route, 30 yard cloud flat. I wanna say this is a five purple. This is why Lurk Artist is so important in Madden 24. No matter what formation you run, they get animations like this. I have, I was ecstatic. He had this guy open. He had the right side coming in open. This is open. This is wide open. He's going to pass lead it. I don't know if he should have waited an extra second to get that out there or what it was. But nonetheless, you get so many of these if you run 6-1, if you run Lurk Artist, if you run with those linebackers and put them in hooks, five-yard purples. They get baity for you. And it's very hard to play defense. That's a great way to get a stop. And honestly, uh, you know, switch the game over into your hands. It's right here. We got Lamar. Should have maybe thrown it to the tight end, but it's all good. We're going to get our three yards and move on to the next play. Z spawn go. As you see, man, I love calling this play. Uh, it's just a nice, easy, quick hike. And it beats. It's not that good versus the blitz. I mean, if your reads are correct, it will be. But it's really good for zone coverage, match coverage. And he was running a lot of that in this game. Right here, a little zig route to the left. Tight end drag. He ends up not using it for whatever reason. Tony G cannot fight for us, but we do get to the four-yard line. And Barkley is going to bounce it in to the right side. Is he going to get in for us? Yes, he is. Um, this was before Derrick Henry. Or I don't know. Derrick Henry might have been out. I probably just didn't have the coin, coin amount for him. He actually ends up playing good two-point defense. I don't know how. But man, what are my two stops in this game, guys? Can you tell me what my two stops in this game are? For someone I have never been able to really stop at an efficient pace in the past few Maddens. It, they're, they've been coming from Lurk Artist. He's really just, no, not even bad reads. He's really just gotten lurked by the Lurk Artist. Is right here. We're, I'm not going to lie. We're playing decent defense. We're not playing good defense. We're playing decent defense. You know, we have guys in the area. They're just... We're just one step behind. Um, obviously, the Lurk Artists have come in clutch for us. But right here, like, look, that's pretty good defense if you ask me. He's going to end up throwing it at Josh Allen. And that's our third stop of the game. What was it? Lurk Artists once more. Probably going to end it for us and secure us a little bit of money in this WRHG tournament. Um, we ended up playing Lambo in the finals. Um, I'm going to see if I could get that game played. It's been a while. Um, if I can't, you know, it is what it is, but um, it was a pretty good game. Lambo what is on this like on, the, on this tear at this moment at uh, this time running that spinner and honestly he had me shook. But right here, like I said, that wide trail is so good. It's so money. And that's gonna be it for your boy. GG's in the chat to Isaiah W. Spread Demon. If you love running like spread, if you want to run something else, I suggest you, I advise you maybe hitting him up. I don't know if he has a Twitter out there or messaging him on PSN, you know, you got an ebook or, you know, you got some plays you want to share with me or honestly just doing some research on this video and running what he was running. Um, trust me, he's much more high powered than he was in this gameplay. The Lurk Artists did the job for me and we kind of played Ben Don't Break, right? But versus other people, other players, I'm always hearing, I can't stop this guy. How do you stop him? How do you do this? How do you do that? I can't beat that dude. So shout out to Isaiah W for the game. Spread is super tough. Once again, in Madden 24, just like it's been Madden 22, Madden 23, Madden 21, Madden 20. The spread is always going to be good, man, if there isn't like a crazy nano blitz out there. So shout out to the gameplay. I'll catch you guys in the next gameplay. Stay up, stay safe. Peace.